hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful square circle skirt okay it is also called the handkerchief skirt and the reason it is called a square circle skirt is because we are basically drafting a square and a circle on the same piece of fabric okay so we are going to fold our fabric such that we will get a square shape and then right in the middle of that fabric we're going to construct a circle so due to the way that this skirt drapes after wearing it it has a long and a short side but then we only need one length to draft the skirt and that is the length of the short side of the skirt to explain this better for example if you want the short part of your skirt to be 18 inches okay you should expect that when you wear the skirt the long side would be at least 10 inches longer than the short side and this is actually the beauty of the skirt this is what makes it unique to draft the skirt i'll be working with two yards of fabric which is approximately the same as two meters of fabric and then the measurements i need are my waist measurement and the length of the short side of my skirt so my waist measurement is 31 inches while the length of my skirt is 20 inches but then again i want my skirt to have a band okay i want the band to be three inches so i'll be subtracting three inches from 20 inches okay which gives me 17 inches so to get the radius of my skirt i'll divide my waist measurements by 6.28 okay so that is 31 inches divided by 6.28 and that is 4.9 okay so now i'll fold my fabric into four such that the sides of my fabric will be the length of my skirt which is 17 inches remember i have subtracted three inches from it which is 17 inches plus my radius plus emin allowance okay so now it will be 17 inches plus 4.9 inches plus one inch I mean allowance and that gives me 22.9 inches so that means I need a length not shorter than 22.9 inches on both sides of the fabric so after folding the skirt and ensuring that I have the desired length I'm going to measure out my radius on the fabric okay from the top corner of the fabric I'm going to measure out my radius okay which is 4.9 so i'm going to draw that okay and after that i'm going to measure 18 inches okay on both sides of the skirt that is um 17 inches for the length of my skirt minus the band and then one inch I mean allowance that is 18 inches okay so i'm going to measure out 18 inches on both sides of the skirt and then draw both into a straight line after this i'm going to cut out the fabric okay So now to cut out the radius, I'll be marking 0.5 inch right above the radius that I marked earlier, okay? And that 0.5 inch would serve as a joining allowance, okay? That is the allowance I'm going to be using to join the skirt, the main skirt to the band, okay? So I'll measure 0.5 inch round above that line and then I'm going to cut it out. So now this is our skirt. You can see that it's indeed a square circle skirt, okay? You can see the circle right in the middle of the square, okay? So now after doing this, I'm going to open up the fabric because I'll need to put a zipper so that I can wear the skirt, okay? So I'll be taking in half inch on both sides of the opening, okay, as my zipper allowance. If you do not want to fix a zipper on your skirt you can use an elastic band okay but remember if you're using an elastic band you would not use your waist measurement to calculate the radius instead you would use your hips measurement to calculate the radius okay so that would be whatever your hips is divided by 6.28 <music> so now to the band I actually want a band that is very long because I want to be able to tie it into a belt, okay? So I'll be cutting a P 
piece of fabric that is about seven inches wide and then about 70 inches long remember i said the band width i want is three inches okay so i'll be cutting seven inches because first i'll have to fold the band into two and then i'll be using half inch on both sides okay to attach it to the skirt okay so that is why it is seven inches wide and 70 inches long so here i have cut out the lining for the skirt this part is actually optional if you want a lining for your skirt you can go ahead and do it so i use the same radius but a different length okay it's a different length because i don't want the lining to be showing after i wear the skirt okay so i think the lining here was actually about five to six inches shorter than the length of the skirt itself okay so now to start sewing the fabric the first thing we are going to do is to fold the hem of the skirt okay so we're going to hem the skirt and the lining first okay so what i'm going to do here is just to fold it two times okay so i'll be using one inch to hem okay so that means i'll be folding 0 0.5 inch two times okay all through that so that's what i'm going to do all through the hem of the skirt so i'm going to do that for the main fabric and also for the lining then after this i'm going to fix the zipper i'm actually going to use an invisible zipper okay so now let's go to the machine so like i said i'm going to hem the skirt first so that is what i'm doing here i folded the hem two times with 0.5 inch okay so i'm just going to sew all through the skirt the hem of the skirt and also the the lining So after hemming the skirt, what I did was to fix a zipper. I fixed an invisible zipper here. Guys, I didn't film this process because I have a detailed tutorial on how to fix an invisible zipper. I'm going to put the link up there so you can click to watch it. So after fixing the zipper to the skirt, the main fabric, okay, I pinned the lining to the skirt, okay. Looking at it, I actually want to close and neat finishing. So what I did was to pin the lining to the tip of the zipper okay so that's the fabric just beside the teeth of the zipper i hope you understand me so i placed the right side of the lining on the tip of the zipper okay so what i'm doing here is just to sew straight up from the end of the lining straight up to the waist i'm going to do that on both sides of the zipper so when you're sewing you should sew very close to the teeth of the zipper okay so you can use your hands to feel it or you can use the foot of your machine to feel it as well okay sew very close to the teeth of the zipper so that by the time you turn it you have a very closed finishing So now this is the outcome you see what it looks like okay so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the, the band to the waist of the skirt okay but before i do that i'm going to sew a basting stitch around the waist of the skirt first of all to hold the lining and the main fabric together okay because when i'm sewing the band i don't want to have to start arranging the lining and the skirt and the fabric okay so what i'm going to do is to sew a basting stitch first to hold both of them together okay and then i'll attach the band so now that i have joined the lining to the main fabric okay the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the band to the skirt okay so this is my band and i've already ironed a fusible interfacing inside and looking at the edges as well i have folded in half inch on both sides okay and that was the half inch i was talking about that i was going to use to join the band to the skirt 
okay so now that i have done that what i'm going to do is to find the midpoint of the band and also to find the midpoint of the skirt and then i'm going to start pinning from there okay so when i'm doing something as this what i like to do is to start from the midpoint okay remember i said that i want the band to be elongated okay so that is why i'm starting from the midpoint and not from the zipper side i want both sides to have a even length of um, belt at the end of the day After pinning the band to the skirt, I'm going to start sewing from the side of the zipper. Okay, so I'm going to sew very close to the tip of the band. Okay, it will be almost invisible because I'm also using the matching thread, so that will be fine. Okay, so I'm going to sew very close to the tip and I'm going to sew all round. So now that I'm close to the end of the belt, which is also the band anyway, what I'm going to do is to fold the tip in by about one inch or half inch, okay, so that I can complete the sewing. <laughs> Now we have our skirt neatly and beautifully made. Guys, you can make it as well and work it anyhow you like. You can work it with a shirt, with a tank top or anyhow you want it. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and I would answer. To support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Okay, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.